Hi, it's my first time recording anything like this at all, so I hope it can at least help someone, even if it is a bit janky. Um, so happy tidying. Da -da 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 -da. So what I'm gonna do is clean my room because it's a bloody mess. I don't know if you can see, but I've opened some packages on my bed, and then um, and I've just let things get rather messy. Then, especially on the desk here and on the floor and there's a few things in the bathroom which we'll see in a bit but yeah you can tidy along with me um or not just watch <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do this real time and just yeah start with um any clothes which is usually the kind of the easiest thing for me yeah, i'm gonna go hang this up <sighs> I think for me clothes and shoes like bags and things. I'm just chucking these in here. Skirts. It's hard to know whether things are clean, but I'm trying to remember like this is clean even though it's on the floor. And this is dirty, even though it's in my cupboard. Um Things don't have to face the right way. I'm just putting like this in, and um, oh god, and it's like um, you know, I've done very well. I mean, I got this coat hanger with a pair of knickers the other day, so put that in there. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit there's like a massive amount of like cardboard boxes back there. Um, yeah, I think you can see on that camera. Um, bag. Uh, right over there. Bra, top. Another top. Laundry basket. Good to have a laundry basket. Took anything in there that you actually know is dirty. Um, give it a bit of a sniff. Could wear it again, but actually, for the purposes of this, I'm not going to start going, Oh, I could wear that again. Um, this is actually clean, I know, because I washed it and then let it air dry. Again, just fine, put on there and put it on. It's a lovely vintage top, I got it from um, Esther. Do you like these vintage clothes in Astor? And at first I was really like opposed to that. I was like, oh my god, why is Anna getting in on the vintage trend? But then I saw it top I really like, so I was like, oh, no. But it's the same people who do those chemo sales. Do you like pay by the kilogram? And yeah, but basically everybody, well, especially people like me with ADHD, you kind of get to the point where Things do get kind of messy. You just need to take it one thing at a time. Oh, hat. Um, a few hats in here. Yeah, it's literally nothing to be ashamed of. It's because things get messy as you use them. Oh God! For example, um, you know what? Sometimes I just chuck things away. Sometimes you just like more of having that cleared space for like a clear kind of mind because for me I've got exams next week yeah. and so I'm finding it really hard to focus in like a messy room but yeah just as I find things I usually like go for like okay I'll go for the clothes and then as I find things like this I am um, oops I put them on the uh, old mug in mind I don't even know what I'm talking about. Basically, as I find things, I just like put them away, kind of. Because now I know that I'm tidy and my brain kind of goes, boom, I've 
as well pick this up. Um, yeah, I've just received a package and it's all like arranged on the bed. I'm gonna have to move this because it's lovely to have a room divider in a uni room, which is what this is. But actually, not only really pegging, you kind of can't see everything. So I'll just open. I've got a little balcony here. Pretty lovely. And that is going on the balcony. I've got things like um, got these new boots, which I think are really nice. So I can show them on here because my old boots are absolutely disgusting. Um, and by disgusting, I mean like they smell. <laughs> they smell really bad. Oh yeah, I think we've got like water in them, and like it's kind of damp. So I'm gonna take the insoles out of there, probably wash them. I'm gonna get rid of these. Maybe give them a bit of a wash and donate them to charity because someone can use them. I mean, someone played a workhouse orphan in Oliver can use them because um, <laughs> they're that kind of manky. I mean, I got them um, for how much did I get those for? I got six quid during lockdown in 2020. So they lasted a while. But um, yeah. What I like a good leather boot. It's just hard to find a, a good like vegan leather boot uh, without breaking the bank. I mean, I did order with my student loan. Like, I ordered this amazing like vegan cactus leather boot, and it never arrived. And then they sent me an email saying, "Oh, we're not making them." It was so sad. Um, yeah, okay. So I've got quite a few things on this desk here. I might turn this camera so you can kind of see my desk just while I go about doing things. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Again, just put this in the cupboard for me. I mean, the cupboard's a little bit messy at the moment, but like, I don't really like spending time in the cupboard. I have to look at the cupboard. So it's okay, and I know what's in there. It's like bags, um, tops and skirts and dresses, hats. So, oh, this can go on there. Oh, that's quite enjoying wearing it. Right, got my water. It's been hydrated. It's a reminder. Yeah, this came in my package as well. Oxford University. I thought, well, I don't know anything that says Oxford on it. So it'd be nice to do it for a little bit, but yeah. I think there's this myth that Oxford students are like really well organised. And actually, I think they are. It's just me. I'm the exception. But... Yeah, sorry, sneakily doing a few little, like you're taking dishes in there. I'd recommend taking a few, anything that you find that needs to be somewhere else. Not, I don't know how to explain it, but things like dishes after you've picked up all your clothes. I think I've picked up all my clothes. Yeah, I have, I've got some shoes lying around, but the kind of shoes are separate to clothes for me. Um, can I not wear shoes indoors? Okay, okay, okay. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. Yeah, after you've taken any dishes and bits of what's it called, like a takeaway packages and stuff, get them, put them all in the bathroom, or not the bathroom, maybe not the bathroom for everyone else, but you know, put them in the sink or in the bin, if you've got a bin for that. Yeah, I don't have a food bin. So I've got recycling bin now, which is fun. Yeah, some things here, I haven't tried those bits on yet, so unfortunately I'm just going to Yeah. To be fair, this is the thing with ADHD. I'm like, well, if the boots don't fit, I'll give them to someone. Um, <laughs> rather than the hassle of having to return them. Um, so I haven't, I haven't, I've like rarely ever ordered shoes online. I don't usually order things online. I just wanted those boots. Um, I just wanted new boots. And I wanted them cheap because, yeah. The cheap ones were from last time. Okay. This one here. I've 
my dress on. And you can never have your dress on. My mum always told me to rip off. Um, and I saw one song came to me that um, she called Lillian goes through the, <laughs> the rubbish and put, picks out people's um, addresses for identity theft, which I suppose is fiction, but people must do it, especially for Oxford. I don't know. I'm not really bothered if people know where like, I go to like, a certain college. That's basically what the address is. Yeah, I've got this box for Universal Diffuser, which is great. Um, my hair is not looking great at the moment, but like, I'll stick it on my hair dryer. <sighs> Make sure those two stay together. Pew! I usually have a, a diffuser foam, but I just like sell taped it to the um, uh, hair dryer that didn't fit. So that's quite nice to have that. Um, and I'm going to chip that in the rubbish pile. <laughs> um, yeah, because this is for the shoes, and the shoes might fit, and might. I like to put things up here because I literally I can just forget about them. Um, okay. Oh, my computer. Okay. Right. There's also like the matter of um, knickknacks in here. Knickknacks is like the bane of my life. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, we can kind of see over there, but like, it's just like loads of miscellaneous things. Like I've got my ukulele, which I usually put on this top shelf. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got those insoles that I just took out. Um, I'm like, what do I do with them? Yeah, I can try and pop them all and put them in that shoe. Oh, they are stinky. <laughs> and I just kind of spray them down. Which is, this is the thing with ADHD. You literally end up like, you can't just hide it up. You've got to spray your insoles. But I think there's nothing wrong with that. Just as long as you realise that um, you go with the flow. If you don't go with the flow, then you end up getting stressed out because you're not doing it perfectly. Well, at least that's me. I'm like, why can't I clean like everybody else? So, get these shoes and clean. Up and more. What's going on with Yeah. It's my impulse buys again, which is really stupid. I grew up not having much like disposable income, well at all. Like I used to not really get um, pocket money or anything like that. Or an allowance, what can I call it? But, so when I got to uni, like I, the other day I was like, I had to concentrate, I, I need it. I need it, like, something to put my feet on. So I, for 40 quid I like, bought this and I got the same day delivered. And it's like, a, and it is good. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it so impulsively. I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna have space for it when I get back home in my normal life. But then I know this bit's come up. Um, but yeah, I had to assemble that and everything. And I had a massive talk about neurodiversity and like the hero in neurodiversity and what they And I, <laughs> it was in like half an hour and I was assembling this like uh, bicycle thing. So maybe not the best idea, but I mean I'm happy with it. Oh, I can see them in the of bush. It really irritated me. Okay. I would say now, before we get to the full impact of the knickknacks on my life, just pick up shoes. Put them in the style. Or where are these going? We're just going to have as many shoes as me. But I've got like my slippers, my crocs. Casual trainers, yeah, slippers, crocs, casual trainers, um, boots, and workout trainers, and crocs. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, did I say boots twice? Anyway, magazine. Oh, that's my love, good magazine. The thing, I'm a proper hoarder. I'm like, but I, but I want it, I want the magazine. I kind of do want the magazine. It's just so pretty. I want to cut it up and put it on my wall. But um, I don't think I'm going to keep it because I may as well just put it up on my shelf. I've got a big shelf of books there. Um, library books. Which maybe this camera can see. Um, then, I think I've got 
got my old boots. I put those in the cupboard because I don't want to look at them. Uh, I'm just chucking things in the cupboard. Ah, uh, this goes on my panniers. Yeah, so what are the shoes, knickknacks? For me, knickknacks make up like 90% of the stress about mess. It's just things that have been moved from the place where they kind of might belong and um, just left somewhere, usually by me. Like this is my songwriting book and it belongs. On that shelf, but I'm a bit scared of the shelf now. Um, there we go. Put it there. But yeah, I'll get down. I'll I'll write a song, or I'll be like you know singing songs with my ukulele, and then suddenly I'm not writing songs anymore. But the book's still out. This is my helmet. It's cool. It's got eyes on the back. I put that on myself. So I definitely noticed that people don't bother me. Um, yeah, putting it on the bed, but I'll probably move it just as things get less messy. That's the problem as well with tidying up, is that you have to move things twice or three times. And it, it took it to my nerves. Oh, this is cute. Maybe I could use this as a... This is, again, this is the problem, I get distracted. I'm like, could I use this as a thank you bag for one of my tutors? It would be better just to buy one and just... But this can't really be recycled, so it's better to reuse it. But I don't think I'm going to get an it as like a big thank you bag. Yeah, okay, this is the one. She's making my heart hurt. Maybe I can give it to Charity. Charity! 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 I used to volunteer at a charity shop and then Oxfam and yeah they did appreciate those sorts of things um though people used to donate the weirdest things especially in the donation bins like people go collect from car parks um they said the weird I asked them what's the weirdest thing they ever found they said a dead cat someone had put a dead cat in there I let already cat climbed in but I don't think a cat has the strength to like do that so I think someone had put a cat in there um which is Kind of horrific. Oh, this is a folder. Oh, this is a folder like that was taken from all the other what was it? All the essays and things I had and it was in one of those ring binder folders and then um because I could only take a suitcase here, this is why I end up buying things because we don't have enough space to actually bring it in the first place. But basically it's it, yeah, it, it's a full, big massive opening folder that I can look at and feel, but we have to put it in a little folder all slapped together and that means that I don't look at it at all. So maybe today could be the day that I get, oh wicked, um, maybe it could be, today could be the day that I get a folder. Where yeah, this is a sort of stuff that would be very useful for a folder. You have a little look through. Um, yeah, okay. A lot of this is like revision stuff and it's random papers. And then I think I've watched How to Read ADHD before and she's talked about the paper monster, which I definitely come across. There's things like this, like this is a note from my mum saying, like, you know, love you. And then, because she sent me like my books down. And I'm like, I don't want to get rid of it. So, I mean, I should just stick it up if I like it that much. Nothing wrong. Checking it off. Yeah, I've got these. Um... Oh yeah, you can see on that one. I've got a pin boards. Now I've got this as well <laughs> from the. What is it? The uh, pedal thing. God, it's absolutely horrific. Opti mini bike. Sometimes with my ADHD, I absolutely just forget the words for things. It's really great when I want to sound articulate in a tutorial because I just don't sound articulate at all. Um, okay, so I've got this nail polish here. What am I going to do with nail polish? Or a spoon? Right. It's kind of frustrating. I have a bit of a junk drawer, a bit of junk drawer. Um, this, the thing is, is, I think the junk drawers are quite useful. Miscellaneous drawers, but you have to clear them out after 
thing. But for me, a lot of the time I will just go. Oh, I'm not using these things. I just kind of pull them in the But I know exactly where those are. I know if it's like a bit of a neurodivergent thing. But um, yeah, I, I know where things are usually, unless it gets messy. Um, like as in I've left things out and like shoved them around. Um, but if I put something somewhere, usually, 99% of the time, I know where it goes or where it is. All the... Oh my gosh, the instructions for the exercise bike. No, not needed. I actually need it. But I can Google them. This is literally the worst thing, but just keep looking at the knickknacks. Um, like why do I think this is important? Um, Yeah. Yeah. Recycle. Um, I recycle bins getting full. It's so frustrating. Um, well, actually, I've got so much. Oh, there's that picture of the cat again. It's a nice drawing. I did it in the museum. It's my cat. Again, I messed it up. I mean, what's left the kind of Usually, I do like random drawings and doodles and sketches, and I just like throw them in the bin as I leave. And I always like, in my main character energy life, like, I think to myself, someone's gonna find it and think, oh my god, the castle. You know, but um, they clearly don't, they just put everything in the bin. Um, but my dream is that somebody, I don't know, picks it out of the bin and puts it on their wall. But I'm like, why don't put it on my wall? Okay. Right. More books. Um, got a little, there's a few little fidget toys, which this is like a Barbie camp van. Because I love Barbie. And I got it, um, as I used to do rewards for my essays last year. But at the moment, I don't have any like set deadlines. Um, so it's more. Yeah, I'm just putting like things away on the shelf, but it's more like I can't reward myself directly for certain like achievements because I suppose the only thing that I've got is like my four exams and my dissertation. So maybe I could put more for those, but I always feel like, ugh, like I can't ever be done with revision. So that can't be something that I like. Um, yeah, that's my diary. And like those are my dissertation books, so that out of the way whilst I'm revising for my exams next week. Um, though clearly I'm not revising right now. But how am I meant to revise in a mess? Um, these are like revision cards that I made and then did not use, uh, which was great. But it was like, free verse. It's like, just talking, right? No, it's, it's, no, it's unrhymed verse with no, it's like poetry, but it doesn't follow any kind of set thing, does it? Yeah, that's that's it. This is what I mean by it. like I can recognise what things are, but I cannot articulate them. Um, this is my flashcards. Oh, these are like two big ones on the side. But the flashcards can go up here. Um, yeah, I bought loads of flashcards. Uh, when I was at home over the holidays, and then I forgot to bring them in. So, I'm just going to go home and have loads of flashcards. Um, but there's, yeah, knick-knacky new new. Kindle. Depends. I keep these in the van. They're all for kids I listen to. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but obviously the community, when I go to sleep, it's a long story, but, yeah, basically, yeah, listen to it. <laughs> it's not always explained, it's a true story but, um, yeah, these are some more flashcards that I didn't finish making, which, um, I mean, yeah, uh, I just think it'd be something. Goodness, the traffic is so loud. Sorry about that, if you can hear it. My diary, my bag. Oh yeah, my backpack. Things that go in my backpack. Kindle. Uh, okay, anything about now. 
purse. This goes over here. Oh, got something on my head. Okay, this goes over here then. Yeah, this is just spray to make things don't get, make sure things don't get stinky. Um, headphones go in here. Yeah, as I said, the new knack lot is literally like the worst for me. I mean, to make myself do worse, like holding some food. But for me. Thankfully, I already did my bed this morning, but this is more for tidying up right now. You've got no, you've given it your best shot, you're like, maybe I'll try to tidy this up a bit and not live with just, like, I made a bed and everything else I did, <laughs> which is quite funny actually for me. Um, towel, towel, towel. I think this could still be a hand towel, which sounds disgusting, but I'm not being disgusting. <laughs> this is a drama. Okay. Yeah, definitely not a face towel, even though I've just stuck it on my face to wear. Okay, headphones probably go in my workout. Another pair of headphones. This is... Actually, I've got a headphone stand for these, I'm not taking those with. It was hilarious that I've just like gone on it effort doing that. Yeah, I think this is like a nappy bag, but I've got it and I've got my headphones in it. Ew. Um hydrator. Look at my go. Um junk towel. Yeah, so see I think it's my hair once I'm human side. Because like if I do my hair in the morning then it just dries naturally in the day. And so usually I'll have like a one day where I'll like do it at night. I'm not gonna be sweaty. Eat. Um. <sighs> yeah, it kind of does suck sometimes having to tidy up like this. Like other people just seem to maintain the tidiness. I mean, it never gets like horrific, horrific, but for me, that's not how it works. My gosh, please stop falling down. Okay, things are not stopping falling down. Everything's precariously balanced in the corner here. Um, yeah, I've got my pencil case and this pair of pencils. I've got a bubble, which go and put that on my wrist. I've got a bag, which I can move up there. Um, yeah, that's, that's the thing. You actually, for me, especially being at uni, is that I do require lots of little knickknacks like a screw, um, these covers for my headphones, you know, like earphones. Which I guess I'm just a bit in them, like, it makes me feel perfect, but I don't know. I'll put these in my pencil case because, like, I'm not going to forget they're in there. It's definitely not an organised pencil case. It's got like a hand sanitizer in there. Um, Got this keyboard, mouse. It's really useful actually. I recommend it for any English students to have your own keyboard and mouse. For well, these English students with ADHD. Okay, I've got some medication. It's not even medication, it's just painkillers. It's paracetamol. Hello? Hello? And then um, some indigestion tablets. And These go in here. Goes over here. Oh, you know what? Nail polish, you can go in here. For the meantime. I mean, if I want to do my nails, I'll just go in this drawer. I'm not shaking. Completely. Think smarter, not harder. I'll do the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is that. This is a thing that attaches something to your bike. I mean, recycle. If it can be recycled. I feel really bad sometimes. I'm like, I don't know. But I don't want to just chuck it in the bin. 
Um, hey, Cliff. I mean, ew, I'm getting like a few flies in my room because it's like so warm. It's kind of disgusting. Ugh, this goes with the nails. I mean, I'll declutter them like this, but I'm going to put that in there. This is a receipt for a cup that broke. Um, so I'm going to go take that back. Um, my glasses. Yeah, sunglasses. I mean, where'd you put sunglasses? I suppose on top of my boots, but another important reminder. Well, at least if you're like... Moi and your in summertime. I don't even think it's that hot. Is it? Well, this doesn't tell me the weather at the moment. I think it's like 20 degrees. I mean, that's not even that hot for most people. But, um, ooh, for me, it is. Found a rogue pair of knickers in the bathroom. I think I'm nearly done with all this. I mean, it's kind of it's a bit. I used to have a desk cooper last term, which again, I think I ordered to the room. It's not to the room, but I ordered to uni. Um, okay. We've got this. This is also like kind of miscellaneous. It's a is it? Yeah, steamer. Right. I think what I'm going to do next is rather than do the um. What's it called? Rather than doing the whole washing up things, I think I'll take all of the the cardboard to the recycling. I've got a lot of like packaging cardboard. A lot of it's from when my parents sent over books. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back. And I recommend you take anything that you can with like recycling, put things in the bin if you've got if you've got any bin bags. Um, for me, no bin bags, just little bins, but and then a massive amount of um, cardboard to recycle. Can you see that? Yeah, so I've taken things to be recycled. And then I realised that um, I still got a bin, like a recycling bin full of recycling. But I mean, I'll take that tomorrow when I head down. Just those boxes were legitimately getting in the way. Um, yeah, I've got all these. I mean, I can just pack these all together. Um, yeah, this is the hero's journal. I should probably fill it out for today. I printed it off at the library. Is there like a free code for it? I mean, I prefer it in like a, in a what's it called? An actual like physical journal. But that's like 50 quid. And obviously I only have 50 quid to spend on cycle things. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Little bit. I mean, it's just like about like moving things around really so that it's not as messy. It's not about making it perfect, there's no way to make anything perfect, it's just livable. I mean, you want to like, it's kind of about like forgiving your past self for kind of living in this space and, and making it messy because it's all right to do that because you have to, like, you know, it's, it's a living space. It's a, you know, when I make basically the Sims or whatever, I'm crossing. I always like it to have a lot of junk because I think it looks like lived in and I like a bit of clutter, but I don't like it to impede on the way that I like, you know, I'm experiencing the world. So I'm gonna open this window a bit. There's two windows, balcony and window. Um, 
Yeah, I think I can probably... I mean, I think I need to hoover up. Oh, there's a bee in here, I think. Because <laughs> I'm just open the window. Um, I think I'm going to hoover up and then I'm going to finally do the kitchen things. Or kitchen, you know, whatever. Ooh, I'm getting the hoover. And while I'm getting the hoover, I just want to have a little check up, make sure you're entertained. I mean, it's really not entertaining. It's like the most boring thing. But now nah, nah, I'm getting the hoover. I'm getting the hoover song. I'm getting the hoover. Getting the hoover. Oh, I'm back. Look at that go. Bringing it in. Old Henry. It's a Henry de Hoover. Because this is going to be like, would it? And then she cut this rug. Yeah, she cut any rugs she bought. Yuck. I mean, I'm just sticking it on the balcony. Um, got my little chair, which I don't know if it's in view, but <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It's very fun and playable armchair. I mean, it looks horrific, the design. It's like a gamer chair, but I like to use it for reading. It was only like a tenner. And I'm like, you know what? A chair for a tenner and armchair is, is good for me. Um, oh, I those headphones, man. I got up to get the headphones so it wouldn't be too loud for me. It's a nice cancelling.
done with the hoop ring. Thread pins back on there. Yeah, and then after this, I'll put the hoover away and then I will seal in at the sink so you to wash some dishes. I move into the sink to clean my bathroom and do my dishes. So I move to the bathroom or kitchen. Do, 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 do. See what's going on here. Yeah. Okay, this is my steamer from before. That's pretty much empty. I'm just gonna wipe out the tissue. Yeah, just get washing. Get washing. I recommend having a bin in the bathroom.
Um, I like to use the glass bottle to drink tea from. Um, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. This is a really used part. Um, freshener. I mean, it's a bit cluttered on here, but kind of I know what everything is. I can just kind of wipe it down a bit and go, oh, this is here, this is here. Probably needs a better like reorganisation. But at the moment I don't have that like energy to do that. So and this is the mug I want to return. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that today actually. I'm just too tired, but yeah, it's good. I'll take that back that I really came up. Classic. Turn this up and I think after this I am about ready. So, I mean, it's not perfect. No, in no, by no means perfect. I mean, I'm just going to leave these to like the soul ages and then I'll come back in like an hour. But yeah, I think that's about it. Yep, yeah, so that's it. I mean, everything's looking kind of all right now, isn't it? I mean, it's still not perfect, but at least there's nothing on the floor. Um, <laughs> some things on the bed, but um, working outside and there you can see the library to St Anne's reminding me <laughs> that I need to be working <laughs> um, yeah so hopefully this helped anyone who saw it if I actually managed to edit it together then congratulations to me um, and maybe I'll be following this sometime in the future maybe with the one where I make my bed because Unfortunately, well, fortunately, I did that this morning. But yeah, ciao! Thank you so much for watching, and if you've made it to the end, well done! I hope you got some tidying done. I'm off to do some revision, and I'm editing this in my clean room. Yay!